um, though we have taken a look of what happened weekly basis, uh, it has been playing pretty, pretty well with the Fibonacci retracement from this uh, daily decline between late September and the low we have in October. Uh, uh, furthermore, this week recovery is held at 13.08, which was also strong support in the past, right? So uh, this is the line in the sand. We are too far away, and I'm really not considering the probability of gold holding on to gains beyond this level should the dollar plummet. Uh, because at the end of the day, I'm not sure how long uh, uh, risk aversion rally would last. But anyway, I, I don't see, uh, really don't believe in a stronger gold these days. I do believe that at the end of the day, we will keep on trading uh, Fed's decision. Of course, we don't know how uh, Trump victory or Clinton victory for the case will affect Fed's uh, decision. My take, of course, and market state is that if uh, Hillary wins, then uh, uh, the Fed will keep on in its current path. But if Trump wins, the Fed will probably change course, right? This is the general sense, the general sentiment not what it's going to happen. I, I do agree with it somehow. Anyway, if the dollar strengthens, uh, the main probable bearish target for gold for today and tomorrow will be the 1265 region. And honestly, around 1250 if we break below it, but not much more.